the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the custom post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you have listened carefully to the first reading, Sarah died at the age of 127. 127. And you know that Sarah gave birth to Isaac at the age of 90. So she was given 37 years to see her son grow. That is 127. But how old was Abraham when he gave birth to Isaac? He was 100. He is 10 year old or 10 years older compared to Sarah. So, nung namatay si Sarah ng 127, then Abraham was 137. Can you imagine? 137 and still you were given a chance to bury your wife. 137. Yung may sakit noon ng aking yumaong spiritual director, sabi niya sa akin, ipagdasal mo, kunin na ako ni Lord. Kunin na ako ni Lord. Sabi ko ay, nasa Diyos yan. At saka hindi ka pa kukunin, alam ko. Alam ko, hindi ka pa kukunin. Sabi niya, bakit? Marami ka pang gagawin. Sa tingin ko, aabot ka pa ng 100. 100. Nasa hospital yun, masama ang pakiramdam. Naghalap ng madadampot at binato sa akin. Sabi ko, ba't ka nagagalit? Sabi, gusto mo akong pahirapan, ano? Ay... Madalang naman yung maasar, ano po. So, sinamantala ko ang pang-asar ko. Sabi ko, hindi. Sinasabi ko lang katotohanan. Ikaw ay amoy lupa na buhay ka pa. Ano po. Who among us wants to live long? Who really among us? Seriously. Who among you wants to live long? Nobody wants to answer. Who among you wants to die young? Nobody wants to answer. Why? Because you do not know about your life. Many of the questions in life, we don't want to answer because we are so afraid what might happen. Many times I have said this, that our goal is not to live long, but to live well. Time is in the hands of God. Time is in the hands of God. Our goal 
is not to die old. Our goal is to fulfill the will of God in our lives. But how are we going to fulfill it if you do not even know what is the will of God for you? How are you going to fulfill it? How many among us who come to Mass every day, who sits before God and pray, and really ask, Lord, what do you will for me? What is your will for me? What do you want from me? Ilan sa atin talaga ang nagtatanong? Bitbit natin palagi ang ating mga panalangin, ang ating mga pangangailangan. Pero sa tinagal-tagal ng panahon, seldom we ask the question, ano po ang balak mo sa akin? Ano po ang balak mo sa aking anak, sa aking asawa, sa buhay namin? In both degrees, kung masayang masaya o kaya ay punong-puno ng dusa. We have to ask the question. And you can only get the question if you ask I mean, you can only get the answer if you ask the right question. Hindi ko makalimutan yan. Sabi ng aking professor sa engineering, sabi niya, knowing the given is half of the answer. Knowing the given is half the answer. But of course, you must ask the right question. If we are able to ask the right question, you ask, what are the given? Ano ba ang meron ako? Anong meron ako? Because we are so contented doing what is right, and that is our common mistakes, that we do the right thing, and it is not what God wants you to do. As I have said, no one is too old to be called because Abraham was called at the age of 75. But to fulfill the will of God, how many years? 67 years. God works in the life of Abraham. 67 years. Or, less five, 62 years pala. 75 62 years. Isang buhay na yun. Isang buhay na yun. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it is an invitation to look into ourselves, to put prayer into action. Yan ang tema natin ngayon. Hindi yung ikaw ay nagdudumi na lang, hindi yung ikaw ay nagdadasal lang, Many times, we have to constantly remind ourselves that prayer is not a self-centered monologue, but a God-centered dialogue. Pagkatapos mong sabihin ang gusto mong sabihin sa Diyos, bigyan mo naman ang Diyos ng pagkakataong magsalita. Allow the Lord to speak. Lord, magsalita ka. Lord, magsalita ka. Pagkatapos mo nun, umalis ka. Sabi, paano ako magsasalita? Umalis ka na. Lord, ano bang gusto mo? Pero hindi ka naman nakikinig. When you pray, it is not enough that you express your needs. You ask, how about you, Lord? Anong balak mo sa buhay ko? Then, you only stand to do the will of God. What is the relationship between the first reading and the gospel? If you are not too old to be called, you are not too sinful, sinful to be chosen. Again, you are not too old to be called. Huwag niyo sasabing matanda na ako. But the gospel said, you are not too sinful to be chosen. Huwag mo sasabihin sa Diyos, ang dami kong kasalanan. Nasa Diyos ang oras, 
nasa Diyos ang pagtawag. No one is too sinful to be called. Walang sino man sa ating makasalanan eh, na hindi pwedeng tawagin. Dalawang bagay ang magandang pagnilayan sa araw na ito. That you are so afraid, many of you are so afraid, mahina na ako. Wala na ako magagawa. Retired na ako. You are not too old to be called. Mahirap yung bata ka pa, tinatawag ka na. Ba't hindi ka mag minister? My father, I'm too young. Ba't hindi ka mag-lector? My father, I'm too young. Bakit? Gusto niyo yung nagbabasa dito, matanda na. Gusto niyo yung mga lay minister dito, matanda na. Na doon sa ibang simbahan, natatanda na ng lay minister. Ha? Ang tagal bago makarating ni Kristo mula sa altar, papunta sa iyo. Di ba? Tapos, ay pandemic ngayon. Di wala sila, ano? Pero kung naalaala ninyo, sila yon the body of Christ. Di ba, ano? Ikaw yung sasalo. Ay, ayaw, ayaw mong pinapatong sa kamay mo yung, yung katawan ni Kristo. Gusto mo sa bibig palagi, the body of Christ. Di ba? Nagtatawa kayo, pero wag kayong magtawa. Dahil baka nagbibingi-bingihan kayo sa panawagan ng Diyos. No one is too old to be called. And no one, pangit, no one is to be too sinful to be chosen. Amen. Our goal is not to live long nor to die young. Our goal is to know the will of God and be able to do it. You might be very proud doing something what you are doing today. But do not fail to ask the Lord, Is this what you want me to do? What are your timetable? At the age of seven, I already started serving the church, being a sacristan, Then later on, even I mop the floor, I ring the bell, whatever being asked to do. Later on, become a lector at the age of seven. Then I went to college. But on my 20th birthday, at the age of 20, you know the first years I learned to love the Lord. At the age of 20, God made me realize how much He loves me. Look at the number of years from 7 to 20. I was a victim of stab wounds. I was given new life. In, because of that, I begin to ask the question, what is your will for me? From the age 20 until I was 33, God revealed what He wants from me. At the age of 33, I entered the seminary. Hindi sunod-sunod, inaayos ng Diyos ang dapat ayusin. Ang mahalaga, huwag kang mamamatay na hindi mo nagagawa ang kalooban ng Diyos. Abraham died not later than 137 years old. Jesus died at the age of 33. Look at the gap. It's not about how long, but how well, how meaningful is your life. We can only have meaning in doing God's will.